guys and welcome back to Ganji Plans. Today's video is the much highly anticipated or at least very much enjoyed it seems um, monthly flip through video for February 2022. Um, I do know what day it is more or less. Um, I it, The theme for this month is just sort of coasting. Um, I have like I didn't touch this all weekend which is fine because I was visiting my family. Um, I feel like I'm just trying to get by with the bare minimum and just sort of enjoy life a little bit, which is kind of what I need right now. So um, that's where we are. There's not going to be a lot of changes. As you see, I'm still in my Filofax Malden uh, ochre. I I don't know, probably at some point want to try moving back into my Moterm because I do like the pockets and that. Anyway, it's just whatever, right? It's whatever. The weather's warming up, which is nice. Um, I have worked out a split schedule where I can work from home. So that's one of today's instead of commuting right now, I'm filming a video before work. So, um, it's been good, you know, I'm trying to get some sleep cause I'm in my third trimester now. So let's just jump in. Uh, that, that was a lot of ado. Uh, back pocket here has some stickers. I just like yesterday went through and, um, got rid of a couple that I didn't need. I also really need to go get some checks to refill in here because I didn't have one this morning when I needed it for something at my daughter's school. Um, front pockets in the front here have, well, this is like page flags just so that I have them if I need them. There's a couple of things that are page flagged in here, which I will point out as they come up. This is the stick, the card I used to cut washi tape with and to sort of hold some very anachronistic, um, swatches that I'm not using this month. Uh, I've got my library card and my gas card and then insurance and medical stuff are in this one. So this is my wallet also. Um, it feels so much thinner right now because it doesn't have um, in the back right between these two pieces of acetate. I keep a little insert that has my credit cards and stuff in it and my ID. Um, and so it is four credit cards plus some plastic thick uh, at its widest. So it does add some bulk. Um, but without it, we're fitting very nicely on these rings. This back pocket has a couple of stickers that I don't use, which probably, oh, look at that cutie. Um, should probably clear out, and I never check what's in here. Is there anything? There is not. All right, these tabs, I'll, everyone always asks, these are from Marlene's Plan to Create on Etsy. That's Marlene, E-N-E, -E with a number two. Um, and yeah, I like them As, since I've gotten them. I have not had any or felt a need to change them up. I feel like it's nice and customizable. I'll stick something behind each one. So sort of like jazz it up a little bit, you know? Um, and yeah, they're very versatile and very durable. This first section has my inbox, um, which is just sort of, you know, it's a, what's it? Cover page, you know? something below this wording so that you can actually read it and then just whatever. But then the inbox itself is insert 37. Um, so it's folded under uh, so you can't actually see what's on there. That's the idea. Um, so I have to actually open it up to use it, but that way it just kind of keeps things a little bit more private. This was a packing list for the weekend trip. So I had that near the front. Um, and then this is a sort of kind of running to-do list. I'll just call it a running to-do list. It definitely needs to get remade because I'm running out of room. Um, things that I don't put on my weekly, but I don't want to forget about are here. They're actionable. These are all actionable. Um, and then on the back is the same, but for like my content stuff. Um, waiting on the things right now. It's like there's certain things that maybe don't need to get spent money on right now until my husband has a new job. This insert is number 52. I oh yeah, because it's the 52 weeks uh, future log. And I haven't set it up yet or used it yet. The idea of this is when I feel like there's a lot of different projects on my plate or a lot of things coming up that I need to focus on at a certain time, um, I will sort of assign one project per week. That's how I'm planning to use this. But life hasn't, I haven't gotten my S together <laughs> enough to want to like have that kind of a schedule for myself. And fortunately life isn't busy enough that I also need it. So I'm, I have this in here for when I do need it, but it's not representative of anything yet. This goal planning insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I use this for small projects. Um, so I had like a bunch of things that I needed to like download the audio for and like save a video of my daughter's performance at school and stuff. Um, 
so it's just a small list so I made a little thing for it you know and then I can put like a star next to it on my weekly to-do list so that I know that it has something to refer to for example tax return needs to start getting done it's February Sunday maybe list um, honeydew list I only put a dot next to it when I've actually asked him to do it because um, there's some things that like you know are on there um, that are just sort of ideas in my head but I haven't actually vocalized them to him so it doesn't count um, this is a list of current like crafty projects but a lot of these I've constantly kind of honestly forgotten um, what even needs to be done with some of them so that's kind of a problem but so that's like projects in the front right then the next three tabs are the top ones for month week day um, I haven't been using dailies but here's the month uh, we see these freebie month at a glance dashboard thing here in the front and you all watched me plan this or set this up in my plan with me video and then I didn't put anything on here yet I haven't needed to come back here yet because there's not that much happening um so this is actually I don't think I've touched it since my gosh since that video it's just been I don't know I've been lazy and it's been fine I don't mind being lazy I'm just trying to get my content out to you guys so that you're not left hanging but then just being lazy and this is when maternity leave starts um, and yeah, there's a future log. This one's insert 54. Um, and just, yeah, it's just, there's a little mini month and then it has some dates. And then if anything roll, like doesn't have room, if any of these months don't have room for everything that needs to be, they can put them here. And then this is the far future log for things that are happening like next year and later. These folded up things here are school calendars. They're all folded up and I unfold them when I need to, but for one thing, they fit this way and for another, you can't see them. Uh, then recurring tasks. This is supposed to be at least for stuff that happens on a non, like every month or every other month type of a schedule, um, every six weeks, that kind of thing. And then this is for the things that do happen on that kind of a schedule. I think I need, I feel like I need to look at this because I don't feel secure in knowing that they are all taken care of but fortunately also none of it really matters that much so I try to go through this and just kind of check off what things have been done um, and move them forward a month this particular page is a bit messy in that it so in some cases reflects the last time something was done and in some ca cases represents the next time it needs to get done like April 27th hasn't come yet that's when I am expected to need to change the girls toothbrushes again or no my toothbrushes my toothbrush head um but like the oil change I don't have that scheduled out that's just a reminder of the last time it was done because my husband does that I'm not in charge of doing it so I'm not going to schedule it and then make it suddenly my problem that he hasn't done it yet because like he's in charge of car maintenance but sometimes he'll say hey when was the last time I did your oil and then I'll know you know uh library books we don't currently have any checked out except for this one that is lost so I'm going to have to pay for that, unfortunately. It's a shame because I don't think we ever actually read the whole thing before we lost it. And then birthdays and anniversaries. So as you can see, this section is more than just this month. It's like future planning as well. Then the next tab has this cutie. This is my weeklies. And I usually keep a clip on here. I need to put it back. Um, I started, I moved this to day marker from the dailies to the weekly because I haven't been using dailies, but normally I just use a clip that clips the, the used pages. And this is like three months worth of weeklies at this point because I haven't printed like front and back pages for it. So it just keeps rolling over and that's fine too. Um, so this is this week on the rolling weekly. It's still been working okay. It feels like it fits nicely into my laziness. Like last week, uh, I just kind of, I never needed this much space because I didn't do that many dailies. I did the second here and then I even, that's the sixth, that's the eighth. I, I didn't use it at all between, for dailies between last Wednesday and to this Tuesday. It's almost a week that I wasn't making dailies, which is fine if you don't need them. I was working with that packing list oh, that I already took out. Um, and that was pretty much it. You know, there weren't a lot of pressing issues that I felt like I needed to write down. So I didn't. 
Um, but I do kind of want to tackle my weekly to-do list if I can. And then I'm going to need to print out more weeklies, so maybe I will print a front and a back page and, and then get a new uh, sprocket picture of my girls. The third tab here, like I said, is dailies. So I have some blank dailies in here. I've got this two days per page, which is insert 46. A few of those. Then I've got this weekend daily, which uh, I don't know which what number that is, but I think I just go to my shop under dailies. This one is the project daily when I'm feeling very productive and today's not that day. Um, and then this one is the cleaning daily. And then this one is the freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. So these are just available for me when I feel like I need something. Um, I also have some post-its in the back that you'll see that I could also use. But I want tools for the days that I do feel like I need them, but I don't need them every day. This next tab is content stuff. So this is the little sticker. I put these vinyl stickers on acetate and then I can use them forever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, this is my content schedule. So I'm not gonna show it all to you, spoilers. Um, but that's just a checklist so I don't forget like three Instagram posts a week, a video, and a couple of community tab stuff like and um, I accidentally printed them upside down on each other so it's February then March I'll turn it over and then April is here and on the back of it is January upside down and then December doesn't need to be in here. December was printed properly. Uh, then the next tab is pregnancy stuff, which again, I can't show you too much of, unfortunately. Um, it's the whole bundle that's from my shop, Insert 40. Um, this is one of those little mini notes, Insert 70, that was just released uh, last month or so. Um, so I didn't want to forget when they, I got COVID in January and they then put me on a regimen of vitamins and stuff um, for my for that you know make sure that I don't get blood clots and whatever just stay tip top so this is the schedule I got myself one of those pill organizers like a BA old lady and um, uh, it has been working great I'm probably gonna have to add an iron supplement to this too um, so this is just you know a reminder for that and then this is the countdown calendar uh, let me just sort of cover up list of doctor's appointments so you can see the back of it because I keep trying to show you how this works I feel like it's not super intuitive Saturday I highlighted it is the day that my weeks roll over so uh, here we are in February uh, this is coming out this video is coming out on the 10th right I have this as a Monday start right the 10th and so uh, it's not I will be turning 29 weeks this Saturday so that means I'm 28 weeks you could also set this up so that it's just, you know, the majority of that week is this number. But anyway, I'm currently 28 weeks, almost 29, if that makes sense. Then, like I said, we've got doctor's appointments, um, questions for the doctor. And then um, come these weekly tracking thingies, which I don't do all the time. Um, you can see they just, I like having the little fruit just to sort of reference because people will ask. Oh my gosh, I really haven't been using them much. Um, there's we got you know, a couple of notes there, and then it's not even set to this week right now. She's an eggplant. He's an eggplant this week. Um, so there you go. And then we have monthly to-do lists, which I do use just when I think of things that need to get done for before the baby comes. Um, yeah, we need to pick a middle name. I thought we had one picked, but it turns out my husband is having second thoughts about that, and so we have to discuss it and come up with something. Um, and then, yeah, order breast pump. I have to get the, our newborn cloth diapers back from my sister who borrowed them, and all of this. So, and then the postpartum stuff is super important because you're not in a brain space to remember all of this without a list. This is my packing list for my hospital bag. Um, I basically just went to my previous videos about it and um, wrote down what I brought last time and then sort of added a couple of extra things. Um, and then this is, I crossed it off. This is on the back and just overflow, but instead of don't forget, this is like, don't bother because they're gonna have it at the hospital. Um, I don't need to bring nipple butter because they'll have lanolin available. Kit counts. I've been doing these now that I am in my third trimester, um, and I need to write. I've been marking down how many weeks I am along the side. I have to make sure I get that right. But basically, I write down the date, then what time I start, and then I just do a little check every time I feel a kick. Doot, 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 doot. 
Um, and then I put the time at the end when I feel the 10th one and then do the math of how many minutes that was. Some days, like this day, I wasn't paying that much attention. So I'm sure it would have taken less time if I had been paying attention. But most days it's at or around uh, 10 minutes or less, which is what they want. And I'm not worried because even if I'm not actively counting, I'm getting a lot of movement. He would not leave me alone yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's just, I like having it in here. They gave me a card at the uh, clinic to use and I just, I haven't even opened that up. Um, Cause it just, it's, I like having it in here. I like being super extra. Uh, I printed out all four that come on the sheet and I don't think I'm going to need them all, but they're in here. Uh, then <laughs> this next tab is, oh yeah, I was doing some research on like essential oil rollers stuff. I'm just making a couple blends. And I find it useful for breathing stuff. Oh, here's the kit card. And it's just right next to me. Sorry, if you want to see it. Let's see, this is what it looks like. Um, you check, oh, I see, it's like a graph to check how it is like every day. I don't know if they, I, they have never asked to see this. So I just tell them, oh yeah, it usually takes 10 minutes or less. I guess I've been doing it and it's been fine. And then they don't ask for this format. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was <coughs> doing some research and getting a couple oils because yeah, but don't try to sell me on your MLM. Uh, this is my list of tax documents. I probably shouldn't show you all of our banks um, and who we donate to and stuff, but there you go. Then the last tab, uh, or no, the fifth tab, I always want to know exactly where this is. This is the list of stuff we have ingredients for, um, or at least in theory it is. It's also, I was doing some meal planning on here because I get to the point every month or so or whatever where I uh, realize that I have run out of these inserts and need to print more and haven't yet. So I started doing some additional meal planning on here. We don't have stuff for beans yet. I need to get sausage. But anyway, we're putting together a list like this week or today maybe um and you can put a schedule of what you want to eat when or like events that are coming up you're going to be like over at your parents house and they'll feed you or whatever um because generally instead of having a meal schedule for our family i just have a list of things that we have the ingredients for um i use these circles when i'm feeling on top of it for things that are like shelf stable three circles means it's shelf stable which means it can be less prioritized um, in theory, I try to put stuff that is only put stuff that is easy and quick to cook because we're busy, but my husband's unemployed right now. And so he's doing a lot of the cooking. So yeah, then gift ideas. A lot of these have been given. Some of these are things that are like extras that we were gifted things we already had. Um, my daughter received two copies of Candyland in one Christmas. We put it in the closet and then I didn't want to forget about it. I didn't want to forget who had given it to her um, in case, like you don't want to re-gift it at a party where the person who gave it to you was going to be there and know about it. Um, so I was able to re-gift that to somebody who didn't have a copy yet. And there we go. I don't know. I, I checked first. Like I always like to check first. I did the same thing with this one. Um, I check with the parent and say, hey, you know, I don't have a gift receipt for this, but do you already have this? Because I don't want to give you a duplicate of our duplicate, you know. Uh, then the sort of wish list of things for myself, my to read and watch and consume media list. And then that's it. Somehow these things all kind of match in uh, a theme, I think. Uh, what it was the theme I put? Shopping? Yeah, that's not a shopping theme, but whatever. This little guy is insert 57 and is super useful, especially if you're moving tabs around. Um, you can make yourself a table of contents. It even will fit these sticky notes and you can just move things around um, and not forget where everything is. So there you go while you're getting used to your new setup. And then the last uh, tab just has spare paper. So we've got these little mini notes that I was showing you before. <laughs> we've got lined paper we've got grid paper we've got sticky notes from peanuts planner co lined dailies love these ones it's like the third time i've ordered these um this is a some sort of appointment log these were came for free with the order this is the two column pay, uh, insert from my shop which i used for example for my packing list just it gives you extra space when you don't need the whole line 
Um, let's see. Ooh. Basic grid. I used that the other day. Just I, I had a, a busy afternoon of commuting and I just wanted to make sure I had the timetable right. Checklists. These guys are actual post-its, my favorites, so I don't use them as often so that I don't run out of them because I got them from the 99 cent store and I don't think they make them anymore. <laughs> and then these are old from uh, sticky note uh, indexes and tables of contents and stuff and I just don't want to have to remake them if I ever need them again so they're in there and I just move these all these sticky notes around if I need the pages they're stuck to. <laughs> so that's everything. I keep my Pilot G2 uh, 0.38 except no uh, substitutes. The 0.7 that they used to have like at my office, I hated the black. It bled, or it skipped terribly, and it was dried so slowly, it didn't bleed. It skipped. Blue is fine in the 07, but the 0.38 is fantastic. Um, I use it all the time, and as a pocket planner with small handwriting, that is the kind of thing that I need. But it doesn't fit in the pen loop, as you will know if you have a Malden. Um, possibly any file effects for all I know. They just don't have very satisfactory pen loops, but I just keep it in the rings and then pull it out when I need it. <laughs> so there you go. That is my pocket planner setup for February, 2022. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did stick around, subscribe. I post videos every Thursday about my planner system. So I'll see you guys in the next one next week. Bye.